Hey guys, this is Tom here. Um, just a quick look at the Xbox One dashboard. Um, so basically this is a snapping app phase. Um, essentially you launch it from the dashboard and then it snaps pretty much like Windows 8 um, to the side there. And what I found with the dashboard is that most of the apps won't run unless you're signed in. Um, you can quickly unsnap uh, from the dashboard as well um, and then sort of multitask between apps and games. Um, it's fairly quick switching between the two um, and you've also got a, a My Apps and Games section uh, that gives you access to all the different options. Um, I tried out TV um, but that didn't run properly um, so it looks as though you'll have to be signed in for that to work as well um, and none of the dashboards were, were signed in. Um, you've also got pins on your left which is quite uh, similar to the 360 um, and signing in is, is by your uh, Microsoft account as you'd expect. Um, other than that, um, there's also uh, some uh, a store section. Um, although on some consoles that didn't launch up, and on others it kind of tried to load um, but wouldn't go in. Um, so it looks as though that stuff um, isn't quite there yet. Um, as for settings, it's pretty standard stuff um, that you'd expect, including the Connect tuner. And they didn't actually have the Connects operational um, on these Xbox ones. Uh, they're all unplugged, um, so we can check that. Um, but yeah, swapping between apps is fairly quick. So if you have a game running, um, you can have an app snapped at the same time. Um, the, the actual way that you switch between the apps, you have to go back to the dash using the Xbox um, button, and then you select the snapped app to the side to then control it. Um, so you can, you can also launch full screen apps that are then snap to other apps. Um, so you've got Internet Explorer here. This worked on some consoles in Internet Explorer, whereas others wanted to sign in. Um, it works pretty much the same as the 360, um, so the navigation is pretty similar. Um, but yeah, if you snap out of, like, say, we've got Battlefield here, um, you can switch between the apps fairly quickly, um, and then you can snap, say, Internet Explorer on the side, and then uh, Battlefield will resume. So it's fairly quick. Um, I was quite impressed with, with how it switched. Um, I didn't notice any lag, and the only problem is that we couldn't really get the apps to fully run because they needed to be signed in. Um, but that was a quick look at snapping on the Xbox One.